Hello and welcome to this video about the Kerr black hole, one of the most fascinating and mysterious objects in the universe. In this video, we will try to understand what a rotating black hole is, how it differs from a non-rotating one, and what are some of the amazing properties of the Kerr metric, the mathematical description of a Kerr black hole. But first, let's recall what a black hole is. A black hole is a region of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. The boundary of this region is called the event horizon, and it marks the point of no return for any matter or radiation that crosses it. The size of the event horizon depends on the mass of the black hole, and for a non-rotating black hole, it is given by the Schwarzschild radius, which is proportional to the mass. However, most black holes in nature are not static and isolated, but rather spinning and interacting with their surroundings. For example, a black hole can form from the collapse of a massive star that was rotating before its death, or it can acquire angular momentum by accreting matter from a companion star or a disk of gas and dust. A rotating black hole is more complicated than a non-rotating one, because it not only warps space but also drags time along with it. This phenomenon is called frame dragging, and it means that an observer near a rotating black hole will feel a force that tries to make them rotate as well. To describe a rotating black hole mathematically, we need a more general solution to Einstein's equations of general relativity than the Schwarzschild metric. Such a solution was found by Roy Kerr in 1963, who discovered a family of geometries that depend on two parameters, the mass and the angular momentum of the black hole. The Kerr metric is the most general solution for an axisymmetric and stationary black hole, meaning that it has a symmetry along its axis of rotation and does not change over time. The Kerr metric has some remarkable features that distinguish it from the Schwarzschild metric. One of them is that the event horizon is no longer spherical, but rather oblate, meaning that it is flattened at the poles and bulged at the equator. The degree of oblateness depends on how fast the black hole spins, and it reaches its maximum when the angular momentum equals the square of the mass. Such a black hole is called extremal, and it has the smallest possible event horizon for a given mass. Another feature of the Kerr metric is that there is another surface outside the event horizon, called the ergosphere. The ergosphere is defined as the region where frame dragging is so strong that an observer cannot remain stationary with respect to distant stars, but must corrotate with the black hole. The ergosphere touches the event horizon at the poles and extends further away at the equator. The shape of the ergosphere also depends on how fast the black hole spins, and it becomes larger as the spin increases. The existence of the ergosphere leads to some fascinating phenomena, such as the Penrose process, which allows an observer to extract energy from a rotating black hole by splitting a particle into two inside the ergosphere and sending one of them into the event horizon while escaping with the other one. The escaping particle can have more energy than the original one, at the expense of reducing the angular momentum of the black hole. Another consequence of having an ergosphere is that there are regions where stable circular orbits around a rotating black hole are possible. These orbits are called prograde orbits if they go in the same direction as the spin of the black hole, and retrograde orbits if they go in the opposite direction. Prograde orbits can exist closer to the event horizon than retrograde orbits, because they benefit from frame dragging while retrograde orbits are opposed by it. The innermost stable circular orbit, ISCO, marks the limit where circular orbits become unstable and plunge into the event horizon. The ISCO depends on both the mass and the spin of the black hole, and it becomes smaller as the spin increases. The Kerr metric also reveals some fundamental properties of black holes that are independent of their specific details. These properties are known as the four laws of black hole mechanics, and they are analogous to the laws of thermodynamics. The first law states that for any change in the mass, angular momentum, and electric charge of a black hole, assuming it has one, there is a corresponding change in its surface gravity, a measure of how strong gravity is at its event horizon, and its angular velocity, how fast it rotates. The second law states that for any physical process involving black holes, such as merging or accreting matter, the total area of the event horizons never decreases. 
The third law states that it is impossible to reduce the angular momentum of a black hole to zero by any finite sequence of physical processes. The fourth law states that the surface gravity of a black hole is always positive, meaning that it cannot be negative or zero. The Kerr metric also implies that black holes are very simple objects in the sense that they are completely characterized by their mass, angular momentum, and electric charge. This is known as the Nohair theorem, and it means that any other information about the matter or radiation that formed or fell into a black hole is lost behind the event horizon. This is also why black holes are sometimes called bald or naked, because they have no distinguishing features apart from their hair, mass, angular momentum, and charge. The Kerr metric is one of the most important and elegant solutions in general relativity, and it has inspired countless studies and applications in physics and astrophysics. It has also raised many intriguing questions and paradoxes, such as the nature of the singularity inside the event horizon the possibility of wormholes in time travel, and the fate of information that falls into a black hole. These questions are still being explored and debated today, and they show that the Kerr black hole is not only a mathematical curiosity, but also a rich source of insight and wonder. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe.